Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Some Ordinary Podcast. We weren't looking at you. We uh, we had the YouTube uh, uh, sensors on the mind, and clearly we broke them. So, ladies and gentlemen, hope you get excited for another episode of the podcast, demonetized and age-restricted. Like always, you've got amazing co-hosts like Oompaville and Nuxtaku, but you've got an even better guest known as Don Tavius. Hello. How's it going, brother? It's going all right. It's going all right. I'm... I'm a little bit down in the dumps, though, to be honest. Why? Why? <laughs> what happened? Dude, I lost so much fucking money on CryptoZoo, man. It's like, it's depressing. Uh, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy. See, I'm, I'm going to yeah, use same. one word, but I know it'll get us age restricted. <laughs> God, no, dude, no, no, please it's, don't say it's it. It's good, though. So what, what is your experience with CryptoZoo? What even what what drug fueled you into thinking it was a good idea? I mean, math mostly, but mm. an assortment of other ones, too. Yeah. <laughs> His financial you, no, advisor honestly. is Crypto King. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I invested dude, in heavily in, in it as well. Yeah. Dude, it's like Hustlers University, and like I'm, I'm like paying all these money for these courses, and then there's the Crypto Zoo, and it's just like my portfolio tanked like crazy, man. <laughs> Bro, the trick is to do affiliate marketing for crypto. Yeah. You just mm-hmm. the matrix, tell people yeah. to invest in it. It's the matrix, I think. Honestly, I think the matrix just... the matrix keeps demonetizing our podcast. Well, yeah, I mean the matrix demonetized <laughs> our podcast because clearly it's not like I could have used nicer words. It's not like I could have censored mm-hmm. myself. That would be stupid. Like it's clearly the matrix, bro. Mm-hmm. Like personal it's accountability, dude. Logan Paul, like, he's just getting unfairly targeted by the Matrix, all right? Let's be honest here. He made me really angry, bro. It's so, it's so insane what? how little he, how dumb he is. Like, genuinely how <laughs> stupid he is. Yeah, yeah, he's, um, dude, but you know the status part about it? He's just going to get away with it. Like, that's the that's the problem with it. He's going like, to say, just... sorry, three years from mm. me, like, he, he's changed. He's changed. Did you no. see? Bro, Logan Paul had two redemption arcs. Mm-hmm. Bro, this thing keeps redeeming God himself. Damn, bro. He's redeemed himself more like, times than most people get canceled. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Dude, he's like a villain in Dragon Ball Z. How it just keeps, yeah. like, just redemption keeps arc after age. redemption arc. Yeah. Well, like, I, I mean... For us, like, uh, I, I don't even think Logan, like, I kind of thought he was a good guy for a couple years. Because he just flew under the radar, you know? Like, I, like I was him. like, oh, man. Yeah, like, maybe Logan's a different dude. And then CryptoZoo happens. And, like, even last year, because I remember, like, Coffee brought this up with me last year. Like, we were talking about it, like, after the whole stake thing. He's, like, looking into CryptoZoo. And I'm just like, bro, he's going to find something about Logan Paul. <laughs> and he found something out about it. A and, lot. And, like, even at the... Like, even at the time, like, during CryptoZoo, because this is, like, the month after month where, like, he had, like, that dink doing shit and all this other crap. Yeah. And then we're just, like, like, I kind of sat there and I'm, like, why is he doing all of this? And then I realized, I'm, like, look, Money. allegedly, well, yeah, but, like, it wasn't, like, it wasn't, like, if you look at the amounts, right? Like, I remember one of the coins I showed, it was, like, what, the guy, like, whoever was behind one of these wallets made, like, what, 20 grand or some shit, and I'm, like, bro, 20, like, 20 grand's a good amount of money, but you think about it for, like, the Pauls or people like that, yeah, it's, like, mm-hmm. this dude makes millions you... of every, on Prime every month, you know, like, dude, yeah, the, the amount of money's probably making on that, yo, Prime, Prime is, Prime, dude, they're hustling Prime in my town right now, I went to the gas station, this dude's selling it for, like, 10 bucks a bottle, and I'm like, dude, have you guys seen that video of like all those old Arab dudes like fighting over Prime at the oh, yeah, at, like bro. a bodega? Wherever they are, I'm moving there. That was the craziest shit. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, that dude. place sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> bro. People in Dubai fighting over Prime. Bro, they're straight up like <laughs> fighting over they're, like old men, bro. <laughs> Why? If you guys drink, it crunch, tastes it's good. dude, it's delicious. It is good. I'm not gonna lie, like. I, as bad as Logan Paul is, the Prime is delicious. I, I feel like there's uh, the the bomb sickle flavor, or whatever's pretty good. The red flavor, <laughs> the fruit punch, tastes f-ing terrible to me. Something about it, mm. I'm like, I'm not allergic uh, to it, but I'm like allergic to that flavor. It just sound tastes disgusting. But, but the blue you guys good. are making me, you guys are making me about to go out and buy a ten dollar bottle of Prime. You it's not bad. I mean, it's pretty good stuff. So hard. Yeah, it's it's really good, honestly. I think I'll just wait till this... Dallas. I'll find it in a store somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Not financial advice, but I think Prime would be a good investment. We should do a, a Prime Just... taste test when you're here. Dude, we should. <laughs> I think, I think this, if, if the podcast could buy out Logan Paul's shares on Prime, I think it would be a Dude, huge Dude, if it's so good, I'll buy like a hundred grand of Prime shares. I'll join in on Logan. It's just 3D that, energy. Uh, it's, it's just like a re... It's just a... Yeah. It's not really even his brand. It's just like a... 
classic Wheaties box type scenario. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, is it? He didn't like start it. No, no, it's owned by uh, the the same dudes who own 3D Energy. Mm. 3D Energy. Yeah, they just released an energy drink that tastes almost identical. Okay. Or, or hold on, let me make sure it's owned. Prime is. Owned. Is it the same guys who own Four Loco? This is why I, I like him. <laughs> like he's just like he just tells me who owns what food brand. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Um, yeah, so they, uh, they, they, Congo Brands created, uh, Alani New and 3D Energy okay. and Prime. So it's the okay. same, those three things mm-hmm. are the exact same thing. So it's just a, it's just a big scam. I mean, so, re- well, not really, but it's just a big scheme. Allegedly. <laughs> I it's mean, allegedly a big scheme. I mean, it's wild that, like, the crypto zoo shit caused everyone to look into anything Logan Paul is associated with and easily say scam because, like, well, we're not making statements of fact, uh, I've seen it float around on, like, in, um, I've seen it float around on TikTok a fair bit too. Like people look into the ingredients list of Prime, and it's like, isn't this just a giant scam? And I'm like, guys, okay, let's let's not compare crypto to like yeah. some random because they get most energy drinks. I would say are fucking jokes and memes for the most part. But Christ, mm-hmm. I, I feel They're bad. Also linked to baldness. Dude, I feel bad for KSI, man. Like, dude, ever since that Logan Paul shit dropped, everyone's like, wait, are you gonna say something about it? And I was like, I don't know what he can say. Like, he's, bi- he's like, financially tied to, like, <laughs> Logan Paul. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a wild thing, dude. It's a, it's an insane world to be in. What have you been looking into, uh, Dan? What have you been... Bro, I've just been looking into ways to, like, make my money back, man. <laughs> Not even joking. Because it's, like... And I just found out I have to pay taxes. Like, the amount of taxes... He's just getting hit by everything. Dude, everything all at once. Like, that movie. You just found out you have to pay taxes? Dude, like... Not that I have to pay okay, taxes. Yeah. Obviously, I knew that yeah. because I've been evading taxes for years. But <laughs> the amount you have to pay as a YouTuber is fucking bonkers, dude. Like, I, I had well, the no government one prepared me pay for this. you for your contributions to society. That's what I'm saying, dude. How much have I done for, for the culture and they're charging me all this money? Dude, just... Uh... Just, I mean, you've been you've been successfully Just evading them. Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah. You, you move to Puerto Rico. Like, you do move to Romania, bro. Like, like, dude, bro. If they I'm... can pay off people. Come on, you can do it too. Hmm. Pay, pay off, true. Pay I, off might, I might have to do that, bro. By the way, guys, if I ever get arrested, it was the Matrix. I didn't do anything. <laughs> true. true. Well, so do you guys think that he's gonna actually have charges on him or whatever? Like, uh, they've been they've been putting him into prison for like what thirty days now. Like they mm-hmm. might have, they, they probably might have something tangible. Like I saw these mm-hmm. leaks or whatever last night, where like apparently he was like messaging some of these girls and mm-hmm. uh, trying to goad them in, or, or to, like it was just, you know, it was it was like it was trafficking, lover boy, human tra- the lover boy mm-hmm. method. Yeah, the lover boy method exactly. Like there was a few leaks that came out. Again, if it's one hundred percent credible information, then like yeah, the guy's hundred percent confirmed to traffic humans. But um, no. again, it's waiting for the courts to come in and decide that right before we can all just jump in it, it's kind of wild to see how people on the internet want there to be evidence of human trafficking mm-hmm. like there wants to be a case of it just so they can get like an own on him or like the fans. and then I'm there like, are some people that want it to not be true because he's you know their lord and savior yeah mm-hmm. it's it's yeah. like you know when uh, when people are like power scaling anime characters and they're like well my favorite character is better than your favorite character right <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like they're they're not really looking into it for the right reason. It's like, oh yeah, we want him to go by free because you know the, the Matrix can't yeah. keep our boy down. And I'm like, dude, I just, dude, I, I like your quote tweet by the way. Where the Matrix like, like, is what do we? What do we? The Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> no, like my thing is like, dude, I just don't want there to be any human harm. Period. Like, I don't want Same. there to be like a, I don't want there to be human trafficking happening. Like, I just don't want there to be like a case where I wake up and I'm like, oh, these women had like years of their life taken away um from this shit but at the same time it's like yeah if it turns out to be true um i'm not gonna be surprised because tate's a weird dude Mm -hmm. and if he goes to jail over an actual crime that he committed yeah and nobody should feel bad or nobody should be auto blaming the matrix over it like bro have some personal accountability how about logan paul blaming the matrix what is going on also what's his next arc did, did you see he, uh, you think it's, you think Islam. it's born again Christian? No, Islam, Muslim, dude, Islam, Muslam, Muslim, Muslam, 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 He's going, he's going, it's, that's like the thing to do now, man. Dude. It's like, okay, get, get in trouble, be controversial, convert to Islam. It's, jo- joining Islam is, is like a natural progression. It's declaring war on the yeah. Matrix. Did exactly, you see, dude. uh, 
it, someone said that Logan, you fell off or whatever ever since you dissed George and his belief yeah, in God. I, He's like, I, do you I, think I, it's a coincidence? <laughs> he said, me either. Me neither. He said, he's gonna be born again. Th that's the funniest so he, thing in the world. And then he said, inshallah. Yeah, no. show off. Dude, that would be the funniest reply. <laughs> no, for me, it's the it's the funniest thing in the world that like this man, he's just doing his own thing, towing the line, being completely safe, like for years. Oh. He does one podcast roasting God, and then all of a sudden, Dude. his whole world falls apart. His pig that he abandoned mm -hmm. years ago was discovered dying and the Matrix, that's why bro. he's gonna go muslim bro True. he like yeah. abandoned True. the pig think about that dude. dude george george was like pretty <laughs> like solid in that in that you know what's funny i actually know him i actually have hung out with him back when like before he was famous mm -hmm. like he he lived in phoenix and we were like in the same friend group and this guy would tell these crazy stories that i was like man this guy is so full of shit <laughs> but like they were so interesting even though i i just knew they were fake like he yeah. was telling me this story about how the f when he lost his virginity a cop came up to him because he was in a car and he was like banging his broad for three hours or something i'm not even joking <laughs> and, and the cop like knocked on his door he's like son you've been <laughs> for hours <laughs> <laughs> Is he and less? He like, was he less funny then? Um, no, I don't know. Probably the same amount. I, I guess he's a comedian. He Did you know that? Yeah, I know. He opened for like Andrew Schultz and stuff, which is just wild. Just yeah, like, that's like, wild. like you can't just like jump into stand up like that. Like skip so many steps because then you're like a Brennan Schaub type type <laughs> he's character. Like the you Brennan know? Schaub type for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no oh, offense, Jesus. George. I love you if you're watching. But yeah, full of offense. No, he 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 stood he stood up he stood up are. to the he stood up to the Christ bashing mm, or whatever. Matrix, dude. <laughs> dude, but he's gonna go Muslim, one hundred percent. I'm betting on that. You like, think Muslim? Dude. You don't think Christianity? No, no. He's he's gonna he's yeah. look, dude. It's it's the it's the it's the in thing right now. Look, mm -hmm. being a Muslim myself, I know my people can be very very <laughs> fucking stupid. I'm not saying this is like an offensive mm -hmm. thing. The younger kids in like in, in like Islamic circles, right? Like they. Andrew Tate like speaks to them. Like I've even mm -hmm. seen it in my aunt's kids. I'm like they they kind of like get the Andrew Tate vibe. I, really? There's some affinity there. I don't. I honestly, dude, I think a lot of it is like the guy's rich and he's loaded, and that's some sort of success sign, and that just like resonates with the younger kids. Like I'm mm -hmm. not saying like people my age look at Andrew Tate the same way. Like even adults right. in my age, it's just like we look at Andrew Tate and I'm like, oh, this guy's like. Now this guy wants to be a Muslim after he's already started <laughs> casinos and like how many other businesses? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's how wrong. Yeah, exactly. And we're like, okay, I guess. Like, if Andrew Tate goes, like, when he went Muslim, Andrew Tate, like, everyone was like shitting on him for it, and I was just like, man, if you really want to bring like these, if you really want to be godly about it, I was like, if he actually converted, cool, yeah. I guess, right? But I didn't buy it. I'm like, it's no. Andrew Tate. Like, well, I think, come on like, now. correct me if I'm wrong, but like in Islam, it's like. It's it's haram to like question somebody's conversion. It is. It is very yeah. um, well. It is. It is haram to question it. But I mean, like, there's, there's always logic too. Like, you can be yeah. like, all right, this guy's just doing it for the meme. Come on now, <laughs> yeah. let's let's not let's not be this out of Dude. touch. Yeah, I think Logan Paul's best bet is just post a TikTok of him doing the call to prayer and. <laughs> everything will be forgiven i mean but everything will be forgiven to like one of the because like if you think about it like the converting to islam grift is so strong because you're converting mm -hmm. to like the most largest growing religion at the time you know mm -hmm. like christianity is already cut it's like it's like social media networks right like big mm -hmm. tech companies like and i hate to con i hate to compare religion <laughs> to that but like a big tech company like facebook used to be the highest growth mm -hmm. and then it plateaus because it reaches like a really high market like a, a user yeah. amount and then you've got Islam coming in, like TikTok for religion. Not really, because mm -hmm. it's been here for so long. But now it's like shooting to the top. Eventually, that will also plateau too. But right now, yeah. getting it on yeah. that, getting well, it on the ground floor is also, better. Also, Christianity and like the the those the all the denominations of that are all weak too. Like, there's no mm -hmm. there's a total separation of church and state in America, mm -hmm. and there yeah. has been for a long time. And there's like entire countries that are based around. Islamic values. Yeah. So, like, there's power in those countries. The, the concept of, like, having a lot of children is a very um, strong mindset in, in Islamic territories, whereas in Christian mm -hmm. places, the birth rates plummeted tremendously. So, yeah. Except for Mormons. 
Except for, <laughs> Except for Mormons, dude. Fat Mormon L. <laughs> no, I'll yeah. say one thing, and I'm saying this as a Christian. Like, we are extremely cringe, all right? A lot of my fellow Christians, I call <laughs> it, like, cringe Christianity, dude. Like, America made this whole, like... Like, they made this whole, like thing where you go to church there's like a band and they're just like jesus cry yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know it's just like cringe man like let's go back to the days <laughs> of black mass you know let's go back the separation of church and state <laughs> but I, and think, autonomy. I think logan paul's next move uh personally is trying to make peace in the middle east i think that's the next <laughs> logan paul move <laughs> I think that, then I would forgive him. Logan Paul for seen at so. both sides of the Western Wall. Is Dude, Lo Logan converts to Islam and walks around Palestine and just talks to the Israeli defense force. Oh my just God. throw rocks at them and shit. Oh my God. Hey guys, Dude. today I got Prime Energy Drink, I got Yo. some BB guns, and we're gonna Peace troll the, the guys. Trip. Brought to you by Prime Energy. <laughs> He's like, today we're killing settlers. <laughs> Oh, that, oh, that's gonna give us a hell of a oh, God. Is, uh, no, I, I did think his take on Christianity was, like, the way that he went at George was so bad and oh, so just, no. like, it made no fucking sense at all. Yeah. Like, you can be an agnostic or atheist person mm -hmm. and still admit that, like, not all Christians are bad people and Christianity yeah. is not, like, a overall bad thing. No, but like, even more than a bad thing, like, he made it sound like any form of faith is just stupid it's like yeah. why would you have faith bro but he also said he believed in god yeah yeah i was gonna say he contradicted himself it's though. like what yeah. is what but are you talking about i think that about, his dude? next arc genuinely though is gonna be like all religions are valid i think he's mm -hmm. gonna do something mm -hmm. like that try to you know incorporate What's... the most people ever what is he gonna have a fucking cringe coexist banner on <laughs> no, you know what he's gonna YouTube. have he's gonna you know, remember the elon musk tweet with like the one person with like the the lgbt flag with the with the muslim Sign on okay. it. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, he's gonna cosplay. Dude, I, I, I feel like I feel like, I, uh, I feel like I feel like we'll have to see what the hell like Logan's. I, I think at this point he's got to like he's got to do some shutting the f up for like a month and a yeah, half he needs at least, to shut the f up. and then come back because right now it's just not like good at all. Like it was all right, wild so after that. Sorry. Dude, after the crypto zoo thing, you know how tone deaf it was? Like, here's a big ass prime ad I uploaded to my YouTube channel oh, yeah. after a year. He only cares about money. He literally yeah. just cares about money. He has no self awareness. He's surrounded by ignorant idiots. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's like, it just doesn't make any sense how you could have, how you could be so influential, like, yeah. and be so like, easily influenced. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and <laughs> but not by the right forces, though. Like, did, did you see that podcast mm -hmm. where he's like, "Okay, Mike, Coffeezilla didn't want to come on the podcast, so you need to play the role of Coffeezilla." So Coffee, so he'll say, "Okay, okay, Logan, was this a scam?" And Logan says, "No." Oh, well, I guess that that solves everything then. Did you see that clip of the Dude, podcast? I, I yeah. will never understand what Mike is like. How Mike has even survived in this ecosystem? Dude, like literally was. I feel like Mike is a CIA asset, like an actual plant in the, in the YouTube. He's a Fed, bro. Dude, yeah. 100%. He seems like it. Like, like I would, I would be willing to get like I would will, I would be willing to put my left nut on the line to say that Mike is a central intelligence agency asset, dude. There's no way this this fucking goofy goober walks the f in and comes out of nowhere. Cause like I, I feel like it would be interesting, like video to make. It's like what, what the hell did Mike do? Like what what was Mike before yeah. Logan Paul? Cause. Dude, every time, like, it used to be that, like, Logan Paul, like, you know, FaZe Banks and, like, all these people, like, back a few years ago were, like, I guess kind of beefing with each other on, like, YouTube, right? Like, all these guys were like, yo, f*** these dudes, they're not real, mm -hmm. we're real. But Mike would just be in them, like, he would be friends with one guy, and then the next month he'd be free. He's like the liaison, he's like the United she... Nations. Yeah. He would, like, no, but he's on so other real. people's yeah. podcasts, like, he'd go on FaZe Banks' podcast and he would roast so Logan relatable. Paul. And then he'd go on Logan's mm -hmm. podcast and roast FaZe Banks. Like, do you remember that? Yeah, that I do. Zigzagging? Oh, yeah. He's the relatable one. <laughs> He's the relatable one? <laughs> yeah, relatable to who? <laughs> like... Adam Sandler? <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna write an autobiography and he's gonna call it How to Suck the Right... <laughs> yeah. That's, like, what, that's the vibes that he gives to me. 
I just, I just I'll don't understand. Those. Like Mike shows up <laughs> into all these like circles and everything, and it's just I've never seen a dude on their knees so hard. <laughs> like <laughs> he's also just... the ultimate women's champion. Have you guys seen his posts about women? No. Wait, no. What he's a he's player? He's very. Uh, I don't want to say white knight because I mean like what he's saying is good, but like it's just it's really funny seeing he's the ultimate like uh, he's he's buffing his skills that will make him more appealing to everyone, right? Like, he's mm, never taken bro. a strong take against anything. He's the, he's the anti-Steve Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> he's never been divorced. He's never been married. <laughs> you respect his type. women too much to marry them. Yep. He has so much respect <laughs> for women. He loves Logan. He loves David Dobick. He loves David. them all. Dude, that, that's another guy that disappeared out of nowhere. I don't even hear about uh, David Dobick I haven't Dobrik heard that anymore. name in years. <laughs> well, I think he passed. Oh, shit. I, I haven't heard about him since, like, the H3 podcast. <laughs> what if he did die? Dude. We just didn't really hear the, no what if, <laughs> the news. Oh, my God. He probably died from... Dude, cut that out. Get it out. Get it out. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot. I forgot. Did you watch the World yeah. Cup? Sorry, man. Uh, just watch that documentary, you know? <laughs> like, apparently everybody in the fucking world who has died in the last two years. Yeah, and my 104-year-old grandma, heart... my 104-year-old yep. great-grandma died from Yeah, dude. Sad, uh, some sad my, shit. Uh, my great-grandmother died in 2018, and I think <laughs> she was... Guys, you missed out on an amazing discussion about The Price is Right. It was crazy, dude. We were talking, <laughs> we were talking about, about Steve dumb Harvey bitch. and... Dude, Steve Harvey, dumb motherfuckers on the showcase, like, spinning so, the big-ass wheel. Yeah, we, we were not talking about protected classes of people at all. Dude, yeah, that's... Bro, you know... Dude, how many times do I gotta tell you, you can't make fun of pedophiles on the internet, okay? <laughs> They're every an endangered time I do species, it, man. Dude. Every time they they hate dude, me. It's, dude, let, let me tell let me tell you. This is what I hate about this whole map shit, dude. Because I've seen it. Like uh, I, I've seen like a few articles now where like apparently cops were considering in like Sweden. I don't even know how real like true this is. Don't don't take this at face value. Like referring to these people as maps, and I'm like. Why can't we just call them pedophiles, dude? Like, what happened to the old... <laughs> what happened to that's, the good old Christian days? <laughs> that's one thing I do like about America, is, like, for some reason, like, it, it sucks that there's not a lot of progression in, in, in spots of, of... for our culture that's, like, really kind of important. Mm -hmm. I don't even need to explain... And everybody knows what I mean, right? Yeah. But that yeah. level of progression where, it, like, it, you have to keep getting more progressive with every single thing... That mm -hmm. makes me insane, I feel like. So, like, we're so far back. I mean, we, we, from the inception of America, we literally have had our, like, fingers wrapped around firearms since then. And that's, like, the, we're the only country left with that kind of stuff. So, uh, I feel like we're going to be the last bastion against pedophiles for, like, mm. for, for, within 10 years. Maybe not Eastern Europe. <laughs> oh, Dude, I, I, I really... <laughs> I really can't. Well, you got to include Thailand in that too. But like, uh, we 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 also can't like. I, I I really hope that's not the case. Like, I, I've straight up been like, dude, I don't I don't even want to be like. It's going that way, dude. I don't want to be like in a world where like that shit is normalized. You know, like yeah, it, it's, me neither. It's me wild, neither. like, dude. Fifteen years ago, like, we all unanimously were like, oh my god, dude, you f these creepy. Yeah, man. And now it's like, you you do have some people who, like, kind of argue, like, oh, dude, it's a mental illness. Oh, you don't dude, want it's a history to be on the Sneeko review of cuties. You want it to be on the critical yeah. review of cuties. <laughs> yeah, like, it's... dude, like, I'm sitting over here, and I'm just, like, at the end of the day, it's just... Why? Why are you? Why can't this be the one thing that people just don't unanimously agree? It's just bad. Like I get it. If somebody mm -hmm. hasn't committed mm -hmm. a crime, and I want to just say this before like anything, like if somebody obviously hasn't committed a crime, like yeah, go to a th go to therapy. You mm -hmm. know, go to like yeah. go to go to a go to, go to something that can help you. But if you committed a crime, like yeah. some people have, and, and then I don't know, Moody, no, you're dude, being like, very pedophobic right now. I'm not, oh not no, I'm not lie. just pedophobic, bro. I'm not scared, dude. I'll beat the. F <laughs> Dude, what do you would mean? You, would you guys get say EDP that. on the podcast? <laughs> I don't know if the camera lens is big enough, though. It's, it's tough on this. <laughs> okay. That's uh, a good angle to take. <laughs> um, the fish eye lens. <laughs> it, it reminds me of, uh, there's a Mark Norman bit. What you were just saying, how, like, some people, you know, they don't act on it, so they're not criminals, whatever, but <clears> they still have, like, they're born with that thing. Mark Norman said uh, that, like, when he was in third grade, he was attracted to third graders. Um, and when he was in third grade, he liked grape juice. Now he's 30, and he uh, drinks red wine, and mm. he's attracted to 30-year-olds. But he still likes grape juice. So it's like, uh, 
<laughs> it's like he's lucky, uh, right? He's lucky that he yeah. doesn't that he doesn't have that fucking like just yeah. thing in his head. He's that lucky makes that him... it doesn't have the other attractions. The, that yeah, remain, he, he's yeah. lucky that he doesn't have that thing in his head that makes him uh, a, a step from evil, from pure evil. Yeah, in my opinion, like mm -hmm. pure no, evil. You... I think you're hundred percent right. Anybody that commits a crime like that is one thousand percent pure evil. Like it's not yeah. even a fucking question about it. And yeah. I, and I get so tired with like people who like try to find. I, I feel like there's so many people that have like contrarian brain. Like when you talk with them on the internet, like yeah. you just have to be a contrarian or like have yeah. to find something. Like I, I'm always sitting there. I'm like, dude, there, there's just some things that I feel like are, are immutable. You know, like you can just agree. <laughs> like you're yeah. not gonna go to jail if you agree with me that this is bad. Like. It's wild to see how many people have taken team politics or, like, like they turned, like, politics into, like, team sports. Like, you know, you're looking at the Eagles and the Cowboys play against each other. I'm like, guys, at the end of the day, you can be the most staunch conservative f***ing dude, and then you can be the most liberal f***ing guy, and you can still agree that pedophilia is bad, you know, like... Or just dealing with children's innocence yeah. in general. Hmm. Like, I feel like that's a really important thing. Because I sit there and I'm like, it's not like these are politically like, uh, this is like a political alignment situation, you know? It's no. like, if we sat down, like, if I talked about the economy with a conservative, I'm sure I'd have some disagreements. We'd talk back and forth. But if it came to pedophilia, I'm like, you know what, man? You might be, yeah. you might be so far right, bro. You're you got like, gone. yeah, exactly. But like, we agree on this one thing together, you know? It's like, shit. Like, if I talk with somebody about politics, I'm like, drinking and driving, like, and it's bad, you know. And then like, and then and then you piss off so many people. Like, do you, do you want them to like leave their cars in like the parking yeah. lot? I'm like, yeah, no, absolutely, yeah, hundred percent. I think we all should just fucking agree on that shit. Like, I brought up the like, there's this Elon like boring tunnel shit, <laughs> the Las Vegas Hyperloop, bro. I've been shitting on that for two oh, weeks yeah. now. And I've farmed so many Elon, like, nut gobblers who are like, well, I guess you must be this hyper leftist. Who j I'm like, dude, no, I just think the ideas are dumb. Like, you don't have to turn this into a politics issue. I just think it's a yeah, not, not everything's a idea. team sport. I don't, I don't agree. Yeah. With, no. look, I don't agree with anyone 100%. Okay? Yeah. What? No. Mm -hmm. That's totally fine. Yeah. But the, the reason, well, the way this discussion started, by the way, is because the... Uh, the manager of our podcast, Gamer from Mars, recently had a video uh, taken down. He got a community strike, I think. He complained to YouTube that the video got taken down. And they said it got taken down for bullying um, distinct groups of people, right? That was what they said. And the group. Targeted groups. Targeted yeah. groups. And the targeted group that yeah. he was, you know, com commenting on was pedophiles. So it's like they're a protected group now. That, that's kind of how this whole yeah. discussion started. Yeah, that's why. I, I feel. I really hope that's like an error in like YouTube's. It has you know, to be. YouTube's it been has like be having error. some. Like two days ago, YouTube like straight up gave me negative views. Like I owed them. Views. I still have the yeah, negative views. They, they still yeah, didn't fix back. it. They yeah. didn't we give the views back. back. Yeah. I don't I think it's an. I don't think it's a mistake though. I genuinely think that's the way that that things are moving, especially yeah. on in the West Coast. Mm -hmm. My message to the West is stop normalizing pedophilia. Yeah. <laughs> That's my message to the West. Dude, I, lo I love it. I think that I love should be your message a, to a, literally fun... every single human being yeah. on the planet. It's not. Yeah. I love how this is just like a Texas brings the baseball bat to California. Right Dude, now. seriously. Like, yeah. Texas, it's, it's, it feels very safe here in terms of, like, the way that things are going with, uh, with, uh, with I don't want to say politics necessarily, but that kind of stuff. People are mm -hmm. very, 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 very realistic. A lot of mm -hmm. realism. Yeah. Down here, a lot of very little room for fucking bullshit. I think we also have to done. we also have to bring in the fact that all the shit we see on the internet is such a caricature because it's yeah. like True. when like if you go down to Texas, it's like people mm -hmm. always portray Texas like this hello far right wing yeah. gun. Yeah, exactly. No. And then you go down yeah. to Texas and it's like oh, it's just another U.S. state. Like I was driving just earlier, and I saw a girl with blue hair. Yeah, it's like it's like oh, it's just people here. And you go to California, <laughs> people in California, from California, like, Caleb. <laughs> yeah. she, she did have California plates, though. I mean, that, that she that says something. Like if you go I'm down to California, California yeah. in my house right now. Oh, so I'm very progressive. Let's go. Wait, what? <laughs> Californians are a, I think they're, are they a persecuted group too. I hired a female Canadian <laughs> as my editor. Oh, yeah, no, he hired, he hired, that's a, that's a, that's like that's and like he a pays fairy tale. Almost bro. minimum wage. Almost. almost. Yeah, in get almost. Dude. Dude. Almost. Yeah, it's it's rough out there. Uh, spoilers for the end of like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but I do appreciate how the final battle in part 6 was a child killing a priest. 
Oh. <laughs> it's definitely a little dude, on the nose. Dude, it's, I like that. Dude, I, I really like when Nux, you brought up, like, you don't believe anybody 100%. It's it's kind of like mm -hmm. the same shit that I have with, like, Andrew Tate. I know this might be a cancelable take, but it's like, even when Andrew was, like, on his shit, I was like, oh, there's, like, it, it's kind of one of those things, like, I, like, there's, like, parts of somebody you can, like, listen, and, like, you can be like, oh, you're right on that, no you doubt. know? Like, we mm -hmm. may not agree mm -hmm. on something, but, like, hey... Like, it's like I always said, I'm like, if Andrew Tate tells you to, like, eat right and, you know, get fit and live yeah. longer, is that, yeah, it comes from a piece of shit, but, like, is it bad advice mm -hmm. necessarily? It's is it wrong? Advice. No, it's valid dude, advice. I, yeah, there's, like, a real writing epidemic in 2022, dude, with, like, people, they, if, if there's somebody you like, they'll just agree with literally every single thing, and that's just crazy to yeah, me, it, man. Because, like, it becomes mm -hmm. an identity. It's like the stand culture. It's yeah. like the dream stands yeah. on steroids is just the Andrew Tate well, thing. Well, it's like, it's like when uh, Aiden Ross is like, oh, the Matrix, you can't fall, you can't be a bot. Like, Sneeko's like, you can't be a, mm -hmm. bot. a bot. And then it's Don't like, be you... A bot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and then you, and then you're, and then you're like you're, you're meat writing Andrew Tate. It's like yeah. you're, you're, you're giving me bot responses. Mm -hmm. Dude, like, it's, you're man, just the bot like of basing, a different matrix, bro. Just the, basing their entire identity off of another man just seems that's weird to me. That's some cuckold behavior. Like, yeah. let's just yeah. call no, it I mean, what it is. That's some <laughs> hotel corner <laughs> chair behavior. He has there. a lot of mm -hmm. symptoms of that disease, doesn't he? <laughs> Our boy <Yeah>. Zeke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, that's so wild. Like, have you seen this Gross Score video? You guys remember Gross Score? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, did you guys see? Okay, you gotta go to Growth. Hold on, let me. Let me. Okay, you haven't. Dude. You haven't seen it. No, 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 Don Tavis, don't go. I'm gonna share the okay, screen. Okay. I want to see your reaction oh, to this. Oh God. I want to see your reaction. I saw Sneeko. <laughs> I don't like this website. I saw Sneeko with a gun the other day, threatening Penguin Zero. Oh, what? What? <laughs> what? And, uh, he like he, he's holding a gun and he says and he's like, talk to me face to face. Talk to me face. And he's talking about Charlie. He just like stream sniped him he's like what? i know where you are i know where you are we're both in florida let's meet up you didn't see that whole thing that was a weird moment Dude. oh gross score i was thinking best gore <laughs> no 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 no, the no. Gore website. This, is, this is even okay. better okay i'm gonna show you his oh, most no. popular video okay I'm ready for this one. <laughs> whenever you show me oh, something on youtube YouTuber. it's yeah yeah, yeah. Dude, wow. look at this bro oh uh, this guy <laughs> yeah 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 i saw this shit on twitter bro <laughs> The best cuckold experience. Dude, I wonder what? if that video's monetized. Bro, 100%. He's not going after any targeted groups. I think cuts. it is a troll. <laughs> I think it is a troll, but like... It has uh, to be a troll. It's... But like, well, dude, his... <coughs> his ahead. girl is like, isn't she like a, you know, an Only adult? OnlyFans girl? Yes, there yeah. we go. Yeah, she is. So, I mean, he's technically already kind of being a cuck in a way, because dudes are whacking it to his girl, right? Well, well, like this is well, just the logical next step. Well, better, in his him. video, I could see that. In in his video, it was like uh, he he was mentioning like anybody that like doesn't think cuckolding is cool. It's like, bro, a kiss is a kiss, dog. Okay, somebody slogs my girlfriend. It's like whatever. Uh, it just means you're insecure and like you're a virgin loser. And I'm like, mm. I don't know if this is the play you want to take, man. Like this is just really sad. <laughs> Dude, Sneak like, went on this whole rant about like. Um, you know, he, he was there when he saw his girlfriend having sex and with someone else, and he, he hated it. But then he realized it's something that everyone should do to really prove that their mm. relationship is strong. Character development. No, like, see, like, <laughs> no. That, that, like, like, no. see, there, there are, like, hard limits in my relationship. Like, the mm. moment, like, like, you know what? I might, I might do shit with, like, f***ing car batteries or whatever, like, f***ing yeah. wild shit. Cool, wait, all right, let's oh, try whoa, that. Whoa, wait, whoa. Like, well, like that scene in GTA, dude? Like in the ocean? Yeah, yeah like some car batteries, you know, piss play. Dude, I'll, piss play. Yeah, dude, I'll, mal I'll do water sports. I'll f*** around and do shit. Like, if it's between me and the other person. Well, like, the moment the other person's like, I want to bring another guy in, and, like, you sit in the corner, I'm like, all right, uh -uh. you can leave. There's the door. Dude, that's, like, it's <laughs> against human nature, bro. Yeah. When I think of, that my girlfriend has been with other guys in the past, I go, when I think about she held in Timmy's hand in third grade, bro, oh. it fucking fills me full of rage. That's that, e that's that Eastern European <laughs> yeah, fight bro. in you, dude. Yeah, nah, bro, I just me. I want to find fucking... Timmy, listen, listen. I'm, I'm, look, I'm an inclusive <laughs> fellow. Right now. I'm on my redemption Timmy. arc, okay? If you want to be a cuck, you can do that. But don't make believe it's a positive experience for no, every person. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, listen. Relationships well, I, aren't a democracy, really. I, yeah. I think it's yeah. funny when they try to act alpha about it. Like, how is it yes. alpha to watch a girl yeah, dude, get I'm so an alpha. Dude. That's like the opposite of the yeah. word alpha. Omega, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like, no, bro. It's Sigma, dog. <laughs> the sigma, the whole sigma. sigma shit. <laughs>
<laughs> but it's like they bring their girls in and they're like they're getting f***ed by other dudes and it's like see how secure I am when that happens I'm like I don't know if that's secure bro I think you just have like 50 mg of copium right now sitting uh, in your blood yeah. <laughs> something's wrong with you I only yeah. cried in the shower twice today listen man I'm doing great it's like what you know that part of your brain that like makes you feel shame they're just like missing that yeah, part that, that gland or whatever it is down. yeah dude <laughs> No, They're but, just saying stuff, it seems like. Mm -hmm. I, I find, just, like, a track, and they try to stay on that dude, track and just say stuff. you are describing the NPCs that they were sworn to destroy. Oh, yeah. shit. See, dude, like, right. if you want to ask me about, like, an, if you want to ask me about, like, people that, like, I hate it when people get into the whole Alpha Sigma descriptors of them, and I'm like, why not just be a f***ing guy? Like, why not just be a regular dude? Mm -hmm. Like, if I, I would be, I would be so ashamed if I, if my dad caught me considering myself as an alpha male, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. if I, like, if I said that I was an alpha, like, publicly, and I, like, you know, look like Tate, or like whatever, my dad, my dad would straight up like disown me. Like you're, you're those Islamic honor killings. Yeah, that would be oh, me, bro. Yeah. Oh, be like, all right, God, it's done. <laughs> my dad would be, my dad would literally just be like, all right, it's time for the fucking six term abortion. Let's call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, there would just be no winning there. Like, you, you, like I would be so ashamed to act like that. And then you got people unironically being like alphas or you know promoting this creepy lifestyle to like younger kids nowadays but i think we when we had art on this podcast we talked about it too like he played devil's advocate it's like yeah so you take away the andrew tates but who do you replace them with right that's a good question because mm -hmm. it's like they don't well, really have any you know role to like take after yeah it's are, are you guys familiar with uh nick adams on twitter no no who's nick adams nick adams parentheses alpha male I love him already. Bro, is, does he have a course? No, I just want you guys to, like, read some of his tweets. I mean, you don't have to do it now, obviously, but, like, no, and let me it. know if it's satire. I've because seen this guy. It, is, it is impossible it is for satire. me to tell if this is satire. Well, he retweeted The Matrix is Real by Logan Paul, so... It is definitely satire. But he wrote a book, dude. He wrote a whole book. Like, how far is so? he, is he yeah, taking it? He probably money. wrote a book. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Here, let's read some of his tweets together, boys. Oh, Dude, yo, it's just bro, like the funniest bro, shit. Bro, he's using check boxes, dog. This is this is definitely a oh, meme. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, he he loves tw he loves Hooters, which I can get behind. <laughs> I I don't remember seeing horrible sinkholes like this when Donald Trump was president. Dude, he tweeted, "If Joe Biden wants my gas stove, he could come take it with from my cold dead hands." <laughs> I, I block people who wear masks in airports. Oh yeah, dude, my hell yeah. god. He tweeted and said, It is biologically impossible to milk an oat. Dude, he says <laughs> it's you banned kiss yourself in the everywhere. mirror, you can only kiss yourself on the lips. You know bro, what I'm saying? Bro, Dan. Dan, this tweet's perfect, dude. Yo. Oh, shit, dude. I mean, dude. I like that one. Oh, it's kind of based. Kind of bro. based, honestly. Bro, you can't evade Slightly taxes. Based. There's Slightly no one red red worse than this. <laughs> Dude, I, oh, dude yeah. I like him. Dude, it, he has like so many tweets about Hooters. Like, it, it, it's f***ing insane. Like, this dude, guy loves Hooters. I, can I just say, like, I think Hooters is the dumbest fucking place to go to. It's like, yeah, the wings dude, suck just, ass. Yeah. Like, the wings are dog shit. And it, it doesn't take a lot for me to say, if I'm saying your wings are dog shit, like, mm -hmm. bro, that, that's the, that's like, the, I think it's the easiest food to make, you know? Like, how do you f*** mm -hmm, up something mm -hmm. coated in sauce? Okay, I legitimately have had better wings at an actual club than at hooters well yeah you no know, trust me club food has yeah. a culture to it yeah uh, yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's surprisingly like, good like uh the, the, like uh I, I haven't experienced too much of it but there's a whole culture to that food but the whole mm -hmm. hooters thing and i'm glad you mentioned a strip club bro why the f would i go to a place and tries to yeah. toe the line between family friendly <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah, br bring your wife to, like, Hooters with you. Yeah, I mean, that's going to go by real well on the car ride home. Yeah, once you're Amazing. doing it, at least go all the way. Dude, Hooters? Yeah. It's very, like, it represents America pretty well, to be honest. Didn't, uh, wasn't there this whole controversy Hooters? recently with yeah. uh, how Hooters want, was considering changing up their brand because uh, mm. Gen Z isn't as interested in boobs as the older generations used to be did you, did you see that whole article about that yeah mm -hmm. yeah i saw that oh my mm -hmm. god dude do you realize hooters is just Very the maid cafe them. of america it's like the whole like <laughs> oh, japanese yeah. maid cafe yeah. taken asunder by the by the matrix <laughs> <laughs> the matrix hates it's, it's a war 
I went to I went to Hooters once, like with Nexpo and the guys and everything, because we were out in Texas. We were in San Antonio, and we just, dude, we literally just wanted beers. And the only reason we went, I'm like, oh, Hooters has beer, right? Let's just mm-hmm. go to Hooters, dude. It is like so they cramp us in a fucking, like booth, like in Shenzhen, China, like we're fucking sitting there <laughs> waiting Shenzhen, for the China. Sl- yeah, like yeah, we're damn. like we're like we're like these factory workers at Apple waiting to be can serve food <laughs> and then oh, they give yeah, us the dude. food dude i look around and i'm like it's just like either it's like really old guys watching the game and checking out the fucking waitresses or like there's actually families like there were like fucking, there were families oh, yeah. there i'm like yeah the only oh. time i've ever been to hooters i was maybe 10 yeah. it was with like 40 people it was like a huge thing where every, a whole bunch of people went and i went and i was like i'm in hooters <laughs> and i'm 10 <laughs> you just, just kept saying that over and over yeah, and over. Yeah, this, this exactly, is my first dude. club experience, bro. Yeah, I'm just waiting I for the new Man Wash documentary, A War on Tits. What, a war oh on God. tits. <laughs> what is a boob? I, wa- I watched this documentary, the one is a woman the other day. I saw that I was too. Like, I saw that too. I was, I I've was never like, seen it. Well, like, I kept seeing it so much, like, promoted over the Daily Wire and all that. Like, the Daily Wire's <laughs> doing, like, all these Facebook promotions because they, they know their target demographic. Mm-hmm. They know where to hit. <laughs> so, like, so, and then, like, I see a few of them on YouTube, like, Ben Shapiro and, like, Matt Walsh and, like, all these guys. So, I'm like, right, I guess I'll watch this documentary. Bro, it is probably one of the most cherry-picked documentaries you could ever find. I, I was yeah. going to say the same thing. They found the dumbest people to interview. Like, oh, yeah. every interview was like, oh, my God. Did you have to find the most brain-dead person on the planet? You could have just Dude, gone, gone believe... on Destiny stream or something. That would have been more Dude, productive. I, bro, I don't even believe half the people in that in, mm-hmm. like documentary were doctors. Like, the, I was the, watching it. Comedy-wise, like... though, it was a good comedy. Oh, yeah. There were, there yeah. were some really f- Very good production. Good production. Good funny production. thing. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's kind of like, a, you know, fresh and fit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Andrew they, Tate I feel like Jr. they do the same thing. They do like they just find the dumbest in America, <laughs> like probably girls that work at Hooters, Bro, and they're just Miami, like, they don't have to go please. too far. Please, okay, sorry, well, sorry. Although, girls that work at <laughs> although girls fair, that work though, at Twin Peaks, wh- whoever's uh, working at Hooters better. just should <laughs> become their own boss and start doing OnlyFans yeah. instead. I like All that. Right. We, we're, a... we're gonna have to do some. We're gonna have to do some impulsive levels of like dodging the. We're gonna have to dodge the matrix of YouTube algorithm. I'll be George Janko, dude. Just say Miami. Oh, okay. All you, you don't even have to mention the gender. The the. If anything, the job uh, true, even, you could have just said, bro, he brings up these fresh and fit, just finds average people in Miami. Done. <laughs> we all <laughs> well, <laughs> we find the dumbest fucking <laughs> Okay, well, the end the end of my point was much less offensive than the beginning. I, I will say okay. that. Okay, I was just saying, like, because th- they say that these, like, people represent Miami all women. Yeah. yeah, these Miami yeah. residents represent the whole female body, which is just wrong. Yeah. All right? It's, it's, and... Everybody believes it. Like, they buy it. All these, like, 12-year-old kids who can just learn about off are like, oh, my God, all women are like this? They're all the same? Well, it, I feel like it's the same people that watch one thing, and it's like, okay, now I'm going to purposely, like, and close my ears and eyes and not look mm-hmm. at the opposite information mm-hmm. and then yeah. have to be forced to judge things based on that. I'm like, no. That's what I do. They, well, like, it I, worked well. Well, like, it's really wild, like, he brings... Like, the thing about, like, the Fresh and Fit stuff, and, again, I'm not, like, the biggest watcher of their show. I just know, like, Alpha Brain, like, Coomer, like, Mm -hmm. mindset and all that shit. Um, Again, yeah, I get that vibe. Like, they just bring people on that are really young. Like, because he... The thing about it, like, when he brings the women on that are really young, and, like, they're still going through college and, like, living life, Mm -hmm. and then they, like, give them the whole, like, lecture. I'm like, couldn't you just apply the same thing to guys? Like, when I was, like, in my early 20s... I was just as f***ing oh, young yeah. and dumb as these people were, too. Oh, yeah. I think it's mostly an age thing. Like, and then the old, like, because I look at some of the girls that are on the Fresh and Fit, I'm like, is she, like, six years later? I want to, like, see her on this show again and see if she's still the same person, you know? Because mm-hmm. I, I would wager she won't be. And same with guys. Yeah. Well, also, I think they they select, like, out of all the girls that, like, mm-hmm. apply to be on their show or whatever, they select, they handpick the ones that they know are going to be the most ridiculous and give like the stupidest responses you know just to make it even more um, like ridiculous did you see the I, uh, the andrew I, tate quote retweet of logan paul's matrix tweet i just saw that right oh, now yeah, dude. wait andrew tate quote andrew tate quote retweeted him? yeah he says you are the matrix you are an agent but the matrix is cracking and now you will pay the price <laughs> and it <laughs> talks like a sith lord unhinged bro actual unhinged like i don't dude, even his... know what timeline we live in anymore dude 
Dude, his lawyer, Andrew Tate's lawyer, I'm just seeing him now, he looks like an Andrew Tate fan. <laughs> well, dude, where do you think he learned the law? <laughs> Hustlers University. At Hustlers University, dude. You got that. Yeah, dude, that dude, whole every every time course. I think of, like, Andrew Tate's lawyer, I just imagine Saul Goodman standing there. In, in his defense, your honor, yeah. he, he brought the He was the only government. pretending. <laughs> We thought human trafficking was legal in Romania. <laughs> Dude, it's it's crazy, like, how we got... Well, like, I think the whole thing about it, because people are bringing it up, like, it's... This is a great actual point that we just made about, like, people who close their eyes and ears to, like, mm -hmm. all the surrounding information. This is not, like... This is not out of nowhere. The Matrix didn't step in and do this. Like... Umpi, you and I both know, because we looked into this, like, we were heavily looking into it. You know that the State Department and Romania, this was an active investigation. It didn't even get shut. But, then, like, if you brought mm -hmm. this up to anybody else outside that, like, tiny sphere, they'd be like, no, 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 they, like, they sent the cops, raided it, and everything mm -hmm. was good and fine. I'm like, no, this is, like, what happens when you shut your brain off and, like, you yeah. don't actively look up something. Yeah. The guy... Sure, you could pay off Romanian cops, I'm sure. You, just like you could pay off, mm -hmm. like, cops of any, you know, smaller country if you had enough wealth. Yeah. But when you've got the United Kingdom, the U.S. State Department, yeah. what people don't realize is when, like, an American national gets kidnapped somewhere, like, something happens, red alarms go up. Like, it's kind of a big deal yeah. for the states because they're like, they, like, when if they don't act on it, they look weak, right? Yeah. It's like, if you kill a U.S. federal <laughs> agent, bro, your f***ing entire enterprise is done. They'll come at yeah, you, man. like, no when tomorrow. You... When it comes down to it, you're going to end up paying your taxes one way or another. Yeah, Uncle I Sam's getting the f***ing blood money somewhere. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, no, well, I mean, to be it's fair, like he's though, so and, much and it's, it, it's weird to me uh -huh. when I hear like this whole story. Why did he move to Romania? Wasn't it to avoid accountability yeah. in Basically, other countries? Yeah. And he, I, I, didn't he get charged with something in England? And then he was like, okay. I, I don't believe he was ever charged in no. England. I think he was just being investigated. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know well, what I mean, happened. Well, he got with away it. before they could finish the investigation then. Yeah. He escaped. I, I, yeah. I mean, well, like, uh, I, don't, I don't know. The, the, I don't know about the whole UK side of it, but mm -hmm. I've never seen him go back and forth to the UK either. So yeah. there's probably something going there. But he was in San Francisco, like, when Elon Recently? took over. Because mm -hmm. he, well, he, well, I, he claimed he was because his jet flew over to like congratulate Elon or some mm -hmm. shit in San Francisco for the whole Twitter buy. But mm -hmm. again, I don't even know how credible any of that shit is, right? Like that would mean that I'd have to believe Andrew Tate, which I yeah. don't. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll have to go with that. But yeah, he did go to Romania to kind of yeah. effectively escape accountability. That's well, it. I think, uh, Destiny made a really good point about it. He was saying, like, you know, these countries like Romania and Poland, Bulgaria, they're trying desperately to shed this image of being incredibly corrupt. Mm -hmm. So they had to kind of step it up a little bit more in such a high profile case to prove that they're not corrupt and that they can't be paid off. ETC. Well, it's like, it's like Mexico back in the 80s, right? Like, if you look mm -hmm. at the drug war in Mexico, how yeah. long were some of those drug cartel bosses still roaming around with impunity? And then, like, the government's like, oh, shit, maybe we might decertify Mexico. They're not really putting in their effort. Oh, shit, mm -hmm. this big-ass trade deal? Maybe we might get rid of Mexico on it. And then yeah. literally the week after, they're like, yo, here's the fucking highest-ranking drug lord mm -hmm. extradited. Here you go, boys. They're in yeah. prison. So it's like... Yeah, I think there. I, like at the end of the day, like when you're in a country like that, corruption, the it'll always be a problem, right? Like it'll always yeah. be a facet of life, and it comes with the fact, like, hey, yeah. they don't have enough money, they're not able to pay their yeah. cops off, so some other scumbag is doing it. But like, and, if you want to be part yeah. of the big boys club, you're right. You have to and eventually prove that you can mm -hmm. keep some stability. Dude, well, just to let you guys know how bad the corruption over there is like if you need to tip the doctors at the hospitals oh, or else they no. will not treat you well yeah because the, the doc they get paid shit right because it's like really yeah. just really bad like universal health care like the worst possible way you can implement it so if you don't tip the doctors they will fucking ignore you dude so you it, gotta give them 18 percent gratuity or you're fucking dead you gotta give them 22 percent gratuity <laughs> you gotta pay off the the cops will just pull you over for no reason and then you just like, all right, here's five bucks. And then they're like, all right, like you can, yeah, oh. it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy, dude. It's, it's everywhere. Well, you like, know, like all these former Soviet and like former communist countries, it's, it's pervasive. Yeah. You know? Muda, you'll get a kick out of this. You remember the, uh, the family guy 
episode where Peter goes to like some country in Africa or something that's really poor. He has like a twenty dollar <laughs> bill in his wallet. He becomes yeah, the richest like, oh, man you're a in the country, right? <laughs> so, and he just takes <laughs> over the country. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I mean that that's that's like super true. Like one of my buddies, he lives in Buenos Aires, so like all the way down up in you know the the fucking other end of this hemisphere, and he's like he literally tells him like, bro, with a thousand U.S. dollars, you could literally be like fucking Rockefeller in this country. <laughs> and I'm like, God damn, dude. I mean that sounds awesome on paper, and then you're like, yeah. but you have to live in that country. <laughs> exactly. It's like, damn, I'd have to like live down there, and like that comes with its own problems. It's like Mexico, right? Like, you know, you go down to Mexico, you have a lot of fun, but then, like, I really feel bad for the people over there. Like, I don't yeah, know if you guys like, know what's going on right now. I don't. Do you guys know what happened? No, what's yeah, going on now? It's a war. Okay, so what happened is, like, El Chapo's son got arrested for the second time, by the way. The first time he got arrested, the cartel, like, their uh, enforcement wing laid siege in the entire city, like, their home, like, turf, and got mm-hmm. the guy freed. I think right now, he's been, he's, so they attempted a second arrest on him. And right now, I believe he's incarcerated. And again, it ties back to the early point. Like, right now, um, they're about to have the three amigos, which is, like, the Canada, like, prime minister, the U.S. president, and the Mexican president all come together. So, obviously, for the Mexicans, they're like, yeah, we're, we're, we're stable boys. So, they tried busting one of the highest-ranking cartel guys, and they and the cartel was not having it. They fucking just immediately started blowing. Like, there were videos on, like, social media where they were firing, like, 50 BMGs. And like helicopters. Air, yeah, like helicopters yeah. and like like military planes. Like they had um, literally, they had an anti-air regiment on the fucking ground, dude. <laughs> fighting against the fucking Mexican saw, government. I saw some photos of. Do you guys know what the Night Stalkers are? No, uh, no. It's like a, it's like a um, I don't really know a good way to explain it. It's like a special operations task force that flies Blackhawks. Basically, they're called the mm-hmm. Night Stalkers, and they do mm-hmm. like real fucked up shit. Like they fly really low to the ground. They go in places that are really dangerous, um, and they take dudes who are even more dangerous to those places. And there's like photos of Night Stalkers flying into Mexico with uh-huh. dudes who are dressed normal. Like with G- if you see special operations people who look normal, mm-hmm. there's some. F- going on all oh, right yeah, okay. like if they're not kitted out and they just got mm-hmm. hats beards plaid shirts yeah. blue jeans shit's going down yeah, if well, they're uh, dressed like me was... it's fucked <laughs> it's exactly. no dude but like no, no, That's even, not, not, not even a joke like when they were raiding el chapo literally a dude dressed up like the damn like 100 percent. like the guy uh there was this one like they have full body cam footage of it right like they had the mexican marines raid one of this dude's house and you have like <laughs> one guy like at the front of it like red hoodie like barely a fucking fitted BDU like a rifle and he's just like fucking fighting these like cartel dudes out and then apparently like I looked up into this guy because I'm like I want to know like why did he just show up with like nothing on apparently the dude was out at taco night and he got the call it's like bro we're ready to go chop he's like alright boys let's go and Alex kept his yeah, it's wild shit but yeah Mexico's in like a full on like war right now with uh, with their criminals so it it could be like this is something that I, like, watch on a pretty wreck because uh, cause at the same time, I'm like, it's wild to know, like, when I was growing up, we were always scared of, like, ISIS and shit, right? Like, these terrorists from the other side mm-hmm. of the world. Mm-hmm. And, like, you would send just billions of dollars, like, all the military in the world. And I'm like, now that I'm older, I'm like, bro, just south of California and Texas. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, there is some there is some shenanigans going on yeah. that maybe... Dude, maybe Tijuana is nuts man Tijuana Juarez a lot of those cities I mean it just makes you feel bad for a lot of those people like Mm -hmm. generally because it's just they didn't do anything wrong they just live amongst people that are like running these multi-billion dollar illegal rings but to even tie it back like this whole alpha brain shit with the Tate guys or whatever they would sit down and be like yo El Chapo's base like these guys are based (laughs) and cool and red killed and I'm like really (laughs) I don't know it's kind of like the mafia like how we think mafia guys are so cool yeah, like when we were younger, we're like, oh, this is yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. And then when we get, when we're of age, right, you like, watch we're the like, Godfather yeah, and you're like, psychos. God damn, yeah. this dude's a badass. Then you realize how many well, people yeah. had their knees blown out to make him a badass. Yeah. Well, like, uh, dude, it's wild when you go to some of the Reddit boards or whatever for, like, these narco communities. And they're like, wait, El Chapo did kids? And I'm like, what? Did you have some fucking moral like view that he yeah. wouldn't? Like, wait a minute. Yeah. What gave you the idea that this guy wasn't a map? <laughs> like, wait a minute. <laughs> like, yeah. he, he did all I mean, the at, other shit. level of power and no accountability, uh, nothing stopping yeah. you from power literally corrupts. doing anything. 
I, I can't mm-hmm. wait for the first drug lords in Mexico when they're busted to just go, bro, it's the Matrix. It wasn't me. Oh, no. <laughs> it was the Matrix. Yeah. I said that about, uh, um, what's his name? The guy, the Scientology guy, Miscavige? Mis- David yeah, Miscavige. David Miscavige. Yeah. yeah, so the, the feds are after him now, and he's gone missing, right? Like, they can't find mm-hmm. him. So I said that the Matrix is after him. Dude, I'm thinking of going down after that. I was in front of the, I was literally outside his, like, main hood. Oh like, yeah, like the, in Miami the, or wherever it is. No, no, no. no. Well, that's that's one. Like I was in the main Church of Scientology, Los Angeles. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So the L. Ron Hubbard Way or whatever. Right. Bro, that's the is, uh, dude, celebrity that is, center. No, no, no. Let me tell you, this is the weirdest experience of my life, and I've said this a few times here. But mm-hmm. um, so the main center. As soon as you touch the yeah. main L. Ron Hubbard, that's not the celebrity center. That's yeah. like the actual like big building with the mm-hmm. word Scientology written on it. Bro, they have like they own the building and the surrounding, I think, apartments. So it's like as soon as you're mm-hmm. like in the general vicinity, they'll have people out on bikes just like following you around. Like just Whoa. literally around you. It's like just just to make sure like it's dude, the people that work there, the CR guys, like basically the in um the garden, like the landscapers, mm-hmm. the unhappiest looking people I've ever seen. <laughs> Like, it was such a weird scenario that, like, like I was there. I was, like, me and my girlfriend were both together. We were, like, yeah, let's, I was, mm-hmm. like, let's go into the Scientology building. And, like, eventually, like, I, I just couldn't convince her to come in. Because she was, like, no, nah, we're going to, you're going to die in there. And I'm, like. <laughs> End up in a documentary, dude. Yeah. I'm like, so, I'm, like, I'm, like, all right, Going guess, clear, too. Well, yeah, it's like, like if I go Mood in, I'm going to be in the, I'll probably end up in the same place Miscavige's wife is in, so maybe mm, not worth yeah. it. Dude, we went to the Celebrity Center. Bro, I'm telling you, when you when the security guard comes out with like that dead cult stare at you, he's like, it's good to get your information from the source. The media lies. And I'm like, oh, this is oh, weird. So like, Just try to recruit you? Um, yeah, they, they do it to everyone. So, like, you go into their place, right? So, they, they say they have an open house as a celebrity center. They don't. Because mm-hmm. you show up there, and they make you wait out by the security gate for, like, ten minutes. And then, like, a representative comes out and, like, gives you the most guided tour. So, we walked in, and they have plants for everything, bro. Like, we're talking, people are sitting out in front of a cafe sipping coffee, and the cafe is clearly closed. Like, it was never unlocked that day. They just had people sitting there pretending to have a time. So we go in, and they make us sit and watch this, like, 20-minute-long movie about, like, the birth of Scientology. And we called it quit right, quits right there. Nobody else was in there. The guy in the corner, so there was, like, this one room where the guy kept, like, looking back at me constantly. And I gave them fake names, everything. I didn't even give them my ID. So this guy That's just true. keeps, like, looking back, like, at me like this. Like, he's like, oh, my God, is it that guy? And at that point, I was like, I'm out of here, dude. This guy's, like, Googled me. Like, he's, like, looked at my face. Like, he already knows that I'm, like, like who I am. Like mm-hmm. what? Like that? I, that I'm not like this fake name that I gave. I'm not Tom Reed. Okay, is all I'm saying. Okay, <laughs> I'm oh, not Tom Reed. Yeah, I'm not Tom Reed from Nebraska. My name's Donald. <laughs> yeah, like he oh, found Donald out real Reed. quick. <laughs> I mean, so, you should probably use a more believable name. <laughs> well, what was I gonna do? Was I gonna, well, if Andrew Tate can be Muslim, I think Tom Reed can ah, be okay, too. Bro. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> so like. So, like, before I leave, the guy's like, you want to buy the book of Dianetics? And I'm like, no. Well, I was about to, and then my girlfriend was like, mm. don't fucking do it. Because then I'm like, oh, yeah. shit, because I, like, I swipe my card, and the guy gets my whole name out of that. So I'm oh, like, yeah. no, I, I, I'm from I'm from Canada, bro. I got, like, a poor card. Like, I don't I don't really have, like, you know. We don't, I don't have real it. money, like, okay? It's just Monopoly dude, stuff. He's like, he's like, no, it's fine. It's fine. We have, like, connections with all these banks. Just give it a try. And I'm like, no, I'm out of <laughs> here, dude. I'm, I'm gone, bro. I'm running. <laughs> We were out. Like, I had to look behind my... I had to do, like, three left turns to make sure we weren't getting f***ing fallen out of that shit, dude. Dude, I hate how the Matrix keeps coming after Scientology. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. It's really dude, sad, Scientology man. owns the Matrix. Aren't they the only people the IRS are scared of? Like, the IRS dude, don't so, touch... Dude, it is a weird scenario with the Scientology and the IRS, if you actually look up into that. Because, yeah, mm-hmm. they are the only people that I've ever, like... Pretty f***ing crazy. Yeah. I... I, I, I I yeah. heard the rumor is like apparently they had their people at parties with the IRS agents and they got some blackmail on the IRS oh. that way and that's why they're like not ready to touch there's them. There's no but I don't way. Know how believable that, that, that. There's no way that's real. 
I don't I That's don't know how believable Quasar. that is. But like you're right, dude. There's the only church that like they're look, let's be real. Scientology is obviously a grift, okay? Like let's not Hey dude, come on, bro. <laughs> I was really <laughs> hey, 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 don't say my early scam. 20s. Don't say the word scam. Yeah, yeah. Apparently yeah, you can get sued for that. As far as a fate. You can get sued for that. Matrix. I mean, like, Matrix listen, agent. Matrix. Listen. You what are you like sucking the matrix? <laughs> sucking that sweet matrix juice? Okay, all right. Well, okay, okay. We're getting a lot of Buzzword thrown at me here. Okay, I got I heard Alpha right, Matrix. Let me let me let me defrag this argument. Okay, listen. Yeah. You're a bot, bro. 100. percent Okay, all organized religion is kind of like a grift. Let's let's not kid around. Like any major church can kind of be Except like that. Except Scientology. Very yeah. much Scientology. Except it in your life. Yeah. But it's like, dude. They're obviously there for the whole money side of it, and and I think mm -hmm. they'll do whatever they can to like keep that. Uh, as long as they possibly could, although the although it's kind of dwindling, like there's not as many Scientologists, yeah. they don't have all that crazy money. Um, it's sad. Yeah, it really it, is. If it's so sad, you want to go down kind to Clearwater of. and tell them that you want to go down to their city. I, I I've had Dianetics for years. I I read it. Yeah, I thought it was too. really interesting. Dude, I was really into it in my early twenties, man. Like, well, what about Dianetics? Like thinking got that you it was so like a butter? really. Like it was a, the the idea that it's like self improvement, but like mm -hmm. a path that you can follow is very appealing. Yeah. I feel like, dude, if you didn't join a cult in your early twenties, then you f***ed up in life. Really? Um, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> what cult like, did you join? We've been spending most our lives living no, in an dude, that, that is, of, and the nation of Islam, dude. I was in the nation of Islam. Okay, all right. Honest. The nation of Islam is kind of the cooler cult, but like Scientology is yeah. like a basic f***ing like pumpkin latte <laughs> spice. Well, nation At least of the nation of Islam, Islam actually, has Yacoub. Yeah. <laughs> well, technically, I'm I'm not a Yakub, but I, I guess know, it's bro. like, you, you dude, but they're very Yacoubian. similar. They're very similar, actually, like the way they operate. Because the guy, what's his name, Louis Farrakhan, mm -hmm. he's mm -hmm. like super into Scientology, like behind the scenes, and he kind of like followed their structure. Because they do the same thing. Like they own a bunch of real estate. Like they own a shit ton of real estate, and they don't pay taxes, you know, and they have like. Mm -hmm similar recruiting practices right like they were doing it beforehand with like and the getting... stories don't add up what's yeah. the relationships i never looked into the nation of islam that much what's the relationship between them and actual islamic groups probably not very little right? very, very little. little i'll tell yeah. you one thing they have a different uh, mickey moses Mass. moses used dynamite to kill 300 of the <laughs> most unruly whiteies. <laughs> yeah. uh, dynamite, by the way. <laughs> That's like official scripture of the nation That's, of Islam. Yeah. Dude, bro, that was there since the caveman time. Stop hating, bro. True, you're bad. right. Yeah. Wait, yeah. should I explain? True. You guys don't know about the Yakub thing? Now, Caleb, uh, I Caleb, Caleb taught us about it in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Caleb okay. red-pilled us on the Yakubians yeah. a long <laughs> I'm time ago. I'm a pure Yakubian ape. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> bro, bro finally stepped out of the cave. <laughs> Oh, and decided man. to start a YouTube channel, bro. <laughs> Dude, I feel I feel like maybe instead of like Logan taking a religion, hold on, bear with me. Maybe he starts a cult, dude. Or oh, maybe he becomes the first influencer that joins Scientology. Hard. What about that? It's like a cult, bro. but like we're doing good. <laughs> no, 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 no. Become... That's his tagline. Like, <laughs> it's a pyramid scheme, it's more... like a cult. It's a pyramid it's scheme. We're on the top we're of the pyramid. Yeah. I, what a, I would respect that if somebody started their like their slogan with "It's like a cult," but what if, what if like Logan weird. comes back as a Scientologist and then like he's like, "Listen, guys, I've learned from my mistakes. I've taken in the power of Xenu, and uh, you know, just to let you guys know how much I love you, I'm gonna bring you in with my growth together." So here's Dollar Scient, which is a new coin that I've helped us on. You guys want to join in on the ground floor right now. We're talking, you get staking rewards, all right? You get free e-meter readings yeah. and shit. We might Dude, even you send get, you. you get those, what are those things, those creatures? That yeah, the, the thetans, the cum. Yeah, you get yeah. minus 20,000 thetans for each coin that you buy. The fallen, the damned. Yeah. Nah, he's just gonna do oh, a man, hodgepodge. He's gonna out. do every religion, every single one at the same he's time. He's gonna try him out. He's gonna try him out, dude. I yeah. love stupid people, man. <laughs> they, they are funny. Uh, it's crazy. And they're like, unpredictable. Why are we like? We don't really do. So, all of us are creators, right? Yeah. More or, or less. What's that? More or less. Me. I'm more not really less, the, yeah. the creator. I'm more of a 
aggregator of no no I'm just kidding you're a redditor bro <laughs> I'm more of an aggregator of I'm more of a YouTube of a, more of a discord <laughs> mod who just started a channel <laughs> I recently left a the cave actually basically yes that, that is what I am yeah, um, discord mod we're all like relatively normal people uh and a lot of the creators that I've met and stuff and, and Logan Paul it seems to be just another one of those people they're just weird like something's different about them he's a like sociopath they something yeah, it's it's got to be that. Need like, Shane Dawson to I do care, another documentary. I care so much about what people say about me, and like, mm -hmm. I know I shouldn't because it doesn't matter. But mm -hmm. like, I care about being right. I care about being good and like mm -hmm. moral. And every decision that I make, at some point, there's consequences, you know. And I try to make them all positive consequences, right? Yeah. Do people just not look at it in this in that way, like? How do people go through life? Just is it just money, or they surround themselves with idiots, and then they and they lead themselves to be influenced? Is that is that what it is? What do you guys think? I think How it's, do people fall off so fucking hard. I think it's like just. Uh, I think it's a really high case of like so sociopathy. Like you're a complete mm -hmm. sociopathic individual. It's like a couple. Like literally yesterday, they had the Andrew Callahan guy. Like he got exposed for a bunch of you know allegations yeah. of the sexual variety. And I don't know what's true and what's not, but it's like, let's say that, like, this is true, all right? How is it that you as a creator, you in the public sphere, do a lot of, like, do those heinous actions and expect not to suffer any consequence yeah. down the road? Mm -hmm. It's like, do you, yeah. maybe, maybe, like, you're so mentally, like, it is sociopathy because you're so mentally detached from, like, human feelings and like human beings as a whole like you're right like somebody's opinion on the internet doesn't matter right like they're not no. related to me like what's going to happen like if somebody says F you mood i hate you for life yeah. they hope you exactly. die in a mm -hmm. fire shouldn't affect me but it does because mm -hmm. like at the end of the day i'm mm -hmm. like it's like the established title shit right like when it happened it was like all right you know F take it on the chin and apologize you know instead of fucking passing the buck around just call it what it is because i didn't yeah. care what the fuck people said i'm like i don't want to be known as a scammer like i don't want to fucking have that taint on me so it's like you know you, you you buck up and you apologize to the other human beings watching you but it's like when the crypto zoo happened with logan paul it's like bro you were on that project like you were involved mm -hmm. so heavily into it now you're throwing out these lawsuit threats it's like you don't really care about the bad press you just care about like you can't because i have to imagine they look at the community like they look at just they look at them as sheeps or like animals right and they're like yeah. just like and wolves and like gods amongst it's like them. main character syndrome yeah it's like the dude thinks he's like in kratos or some shit or like zeus or like some main like god and he's like all these people it's like i can corral them so easily it's all i feel like it's almost a high that people get too right like i can like i can manipulate the audience so well like look at how mm -hmm. deft i am silver tongued and all so yeah. it's weird you have to be detached. You have to have no feeling yeah. in you, like, 100%. You, you can't... Dude, I think, yeah, at some point, like, the greed also, like, even if they're not sociopaths, they, they can justify any action for, for their own greed, right? Because, like, mm -hmm. the, I think the best example of this is, is Jake Tran. I don't know if you guys know. I heard Like, of Jake the whole Tran. thing with him. him. Yeah. But that, that dude literally just, like, destroyed all his credibility, destroyed Wait, all his goodwill the dude, the, the, for the, money. The, well, not the... Oh, but the guy no, that was no, promoting Australia no. was that that guy? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no he, just, a... he made these videos about like, like Coffee Zill made a whole video exposing him. But he used to make videos about like how the government and corporations were evil. <laughs> and then in the same videos, he would shill NFTs and like bullshit cryptos and stuff like that. Well, his videos now are interesting. Like if you actually look into it, so I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you what's going on with Jake Tran. Yeah. Um, He's doing affiliate Jake, marketing now, dude. Jake Jake Tran's content pipeline is so. I was thinking weird. of so Amos like, Yee. Is... I don't know how I was thinking of it, but uh, that's who I was thinking of. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So this racist. is Jake Tran. Totally not a map. Obviously, he's a normal guy, except he covers <laughs> content focusing on like, uh, you know, here it is. It wasn't a conspiracy theory. Blah blah. Japan's prime minister was assassinated. America is next. Britain has fallen. All this like. <laughs> You know, shit. Yeah, I've seen and then if you we look are into screwed. it. So if you look into it, apparently I think the so content is like... Oh shit, Jesus. Let me... I think he like does a voiceover and then he like passes off the yeah. documentary to like somebody else. So it's not even like him doing the video. Yeah, some dude off Fiverr, yeah. some random guy. And then like, it, like, this is how you know like a YouTuber is like full greed. Like if you open up the description to a, anything and it's like huge launch, launch sale. We got Evil University. Okay. 
So you're literally dude, at Evil University, dude, boys. Dude, scroll down, bro. <laughs> scroll down and read this shit. It is the fucking slavery masterclass. Right, let's, let's, let's watch this, boys. Learn the one secret that made every giant corporation and government <laughs> successful. Wait, before you play that, dude, scroll all the way down to the bottom real quick. Dude, I don't know if I want to play this, bro. You got Biden and MBS. <laughs> and they got laser dude. eyes, bro. Yo, Steve Jobs suddenly getting gangbanged <laughs> between them all. Dude, why do you use that photo? Yeah. There's there's a part say, where it says, like, if this, if this course doesn't make you want to open up a sweatshop in China, then you'll get your money back. I'm not even joking. All right. Okay, oh, you got me. Like, go to, like, talking about these really ugly, like, greedy description boxes... I, I haven't checked it in a long time, but look at PewDiePie's description boxes in his videos. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll look at it after. 20 binge-worthy documentary styles, all narrated by Jake Tran. Learn how to apply the secret to gain more wealth and power for yourself. Financial slavery. Even if you just have a job or don't have a job or business, okay. <laughs> Take a peek at what you're going to learn. <laughs> Okay. What is, oh no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sitting here. <laughs> that. Oh, here it is. Sweatshop guarantee, dude. This is from Always Sunny. Risk free. It's Mac from Always Sunny. Uh, With our oh, world yeah. famous sweatshop guarantee, if after 14 days you wouldn't open a brutal sweatshop in Asia to stay oh enrolled, just God. email oh us. My God, it's it's I, all un Always Sunny photos. You're Danny I, I, DeVito. Yeah. I want to do this, dude. I want to. I want to join it. I want to, dude. I want to do the two week project. Will I open yeah. a sweatshop in China? Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, me, me and Good Vince Vintage are uh, making a whole video about his course, dude, if you want to join I'm in down. and dye your hair with us. Dude, I, yeah. I'll fl bro, I'll join. I'll fly to China for this. Dude, no, we're, we're, <laughs> we're going to dye our hair, like, pink or whatever his hair color is now, just to, like, be more like him, just to really embody the character of Jake Tran. this video wouldn't want you to sell out your morality for a quick buck, you get a full <laughs> refund. If this video doesn't make you want to commit side in sudan <laughs> just do like a regular video okay and look at the description oh <laughs> holy shit dude we got a nord vpn deal here we've got it's G still fuel. the same bro dude what is it's, tuki it's yeah, tuki's, right. that's his merch what? tuki's uh his clothing oh, okay, okay, right. okay okay that's fine uh look, nord vpn i'm, I'm not against right. links in the description for all yeah. this stuff it's when it's uh, your own not. coin that's when it gets really suspicious yeah like yeah. Mm -hmm. like there's a big not. difference between but, selling the evil but, university but with yeah. the affiliate links. he has affiliate links on on yeah. the bottom for his chairs for like his chair and his desk and camera and stuff like that oh oh it that's just seems weird so for, unnecessary his size for a youtuber his, his size browser I, almost fe I feel like this is so like Dude, legacy YouTuber yeah, though. Yeah, he had this probably yeah. in at 2014, yeah. okay? And every year he added whatever he just had into yeah. description. Like, yeah. That's totally cool. <laughs> yeah, like, I think it's a big difference between like an yeah. evil university yeah. with a sweatshop guarantee. Well, no shit. Bro, did I just see Ben Shapiro <laughs> on the Full Send podcast? On, on your no, you recommended. Oh, I, look what? at your he recommended. Look at your recommended. No it was right way. there. Scroll up. Scroll up. Scroll up. Bro, what? I know. Oh, wow. Dude, oh my I know what God. I'm. I know what I'm doing yeah, on the car I'm, ride. I'm watching this Hell one. Yeah, dude. He's like, well, the thing about the thing about shotgunning beers is that um, <laughs> you. <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We gotta fully role play. You gotta commit to the bit. Hold on. Oh, okay. okay. All right. I'm Kyle Forgeard. Well, okay. Go on. Well. Uh, yes, I, I went to college, but I, I never slept with any women because, um, t to be quite honest, I, I'm not sure about my sexuality anymore. After reading, uh, reading up on maps and, uh, okay, dude, I, I don't know where I'm going with this character. Now he's a pedo. <laughs> like, dude, stop. like, I don't even know why you're on here, dude. Like, you're too smart I don't for know, this. Bro. Um, do you know about Socialism Balenciaga, states bro? that you owe me something simply because I exist. Capitalism, by contrast, <laughs> results in a sort of feel realty force. Dude, you actually sound just like him. Thank Dude, you. Do you want to try something? Except happy your voice dad? is too deep. Like yeah. if it was two octaves higher, that would be spot on. Okay, fine. Say the word wet ass. <laughs> me? No, no. Wet wet ass. Ass. Oh, no. Say the, say the whole phrase. No, I'm gonna read it. Hold on. Let me get the lyrics. I'm gonna read it like. Oh, the dude, way yeah. Just read the entire the entire wet song ass lyrics. <laughs> That's still too deep voice for Ben. In this house, there's some in this house. There's some in this house. There's some in this house. Too slow, dude. Too slow. You I gotta, said certified go freak, seven days a week, wet ass P word. Make that pull it pull out game weak. You know, if you like close your eyes, it'll take you all the way back to the first grade when that oh. creepy janitor was like reading out some. <laughs> <laughs> he was like reading the stories. I don't... 
Okay, I don't know. <laughs> that did not happen to me. Well, I yeah, guess, it, I guess everyone, yeah. everyone, yeah. everyone, yeah. everyone yeah. has a different childhood, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, it was the lunch lady, not the janitor. I was homeschooled. <laughs> and it was his mom. Well... <laughs> Some days, oh, dude, man. I wish I was homeschooled, bro. I grew up with some weird ass teachers, dude. Hmm. I grew up with weird, weird. Some days I wish I had the homeschool experience, man. Like, I feel like my dad could have taught me a lot better than the fucking actual oh, yeah. yeah, easily. Yeah. I remember thinking all of my, well, all, most of my friends were so dumb. Especially my homeschooled mm -hmm. friends were so dumb. Yeah. They were really dumb. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Well, I mean, wait, but... to be fair, your parents were like educated as your mom and dad are educated, so it's like that yeah. that, that is a contributing factor to it. Too. So wait, so you're saying your classmates were dumb, but you were homeschooled? So that's like your siblings, or no, 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 the, the like homeschooled like kids in the city that we were all like meet oh, together okay, and stuff. Okay, yeah, okay. those it was mostly like religion based homeschooling. Mm. Um, so it was just like really. Like they thought the world was six thousand years old, and um, no I didn't like whenever I talked about dinosaurs. Yeah. You can't have evolution. They're like they're not real. <laughs> they kept telling me that. Like the parents would tell me that, and I'd be like, "Huh?" But there are their bones. <laughs> their bones are right there. But I, I have I, so many action figures. I'm not like... Will. What about this book page? I feel like that's some of the hardest things that like my mom and dad have to do. Like especially my dad, because like we had the same thing. Like when we were growing up, like because we had to go to like Islamic school and like read the Quran mm -hmm. and everything. Like that's what we were doing as kids. And like uh, the other kids, like they also were like dinosaurs aren't real. Like did you find those like 80 feet tall like human bones back in like you know Arabia or something? Like humans were like 90 feet. Like they were like. Attack that's on them. Bro, they were that's they were they were, they were like, dude, we were led to believe when we were younger, like human what? beings were like Attack on Titans, you know, like fucking these big ass. Wait, you you th you learned that in school? No, no. Well, like that Bro, was one of the things like Islamic school. School. school was oh, mentioning. Okay. That. No, okay, no. Okay. The way they so, describe people in the Bible are like, you know, they say uh, it says in the Bible that Moses was like uh, ten arm lengths tall, right? What? Yeah, yeah something like that. Does it? <laughs> Yeah, I like, ain't read the Bible know. much. I, I don't know if that's right. Maybe not. That's bullshit. I mean, that's, that sounds that's fake. Massive. But they had, they had, bro. They, there was only like one guy, like, um, what was his name? Og, Og of Bashan, and they were saying he was, and like his bed was like three people lengths long or some shit. I don't remember. Yo, I that California yeah, king. But they, but, oh, or something. No, but they say he yeah. was a he was a giant. They say like that. That's how he's described. As a giant. Moses? Well, no. Oh, yeah, Og. They, oh, Og. Yeah, Og, yeah. They also Og, mentioned, Og, yeah. like, people lived for, like, a thousand years back in the day, or, like, antiquity oh, yeah. or something. Yeah, it's because the firmament, like, yeah. <laughs> well, like, Well, like, it was interesting, because when we were growing up, it's like, there's a lot of people that didn't believe in the whole dinosaur. Like, you mentioned, like, evolution, mm -hmm. and they'd be like, you're crazy. And my dad would get, like, super mad. monkeys? Well, because my dad would be like, look, man, I mean, I, I believe in God and everything, but, like, I'm also a doctor, like... Yeah. I mean, it's kind of proven, you know. It's like, what are you gonna tell me? Black holes aren't real. I like calling monkeys atheists. So, so for me, the the whole anti um, evolution discussion is just so weird to me because, you know, Adam was created as an adult male, right? So why couldn't the yeah. world be created as an adult world that went through? Re evolution until this point just before the world was created like well so, sometimes logic i just think doesn't... it's not so literal like when people say like yeah. oh the world was made in six days i'm like but what's a day length right. to god, to god you know? right, right. Th and again yeah. well, god is outside of time but again, you have yeah. to realize yeah. right uh, the the sun and moon were created on the fourth day what's a day without mm -hmm. the sun and moon right mm -hmm. we define days by yeah. you know yeah, like, like I mean, God, you think God is, like, constricted by 24 hours? He's like, bro, <laughs> yeah. that's, like, your well, Yeah, because, I mean, the yeah. whole thing is that God is outside of time. Yeah. So, like, there would be no concept of time to God. So that it's, it's just, obviously like, a metaphor who cares? or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> allegory. An allegory. But, I mean, well, that's, like, like, what people will, like, yeah. look too literal into shit. Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. we went from, like, criticizing... I've we yeah. went to criticizing Andrew Tate's Islam to like talking about yeah. biblical scripture. <laughs> yeah. Where's Wendy? You guys lost me. Where's Wendy? Dude? Oh, sorry, sorry. Dude, so yeah, get him in here so we can explain the Nephilim, dude. <laughs> I, w I wish we kind of lived in that world where we had like thousand year lifespans and we were like 30 feet tall and shit like that. Yeah, well, we fed up, dude. We fed up. Now we the live firmament, with Andrew. They, they, they lived long because of the firmament, bro, and then the flood happened and we stopped living long. True, dude, true. Dude, this is this you know what, what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we're kind of in the shittiest timeline, dude. Like, we've got oh, EDP yeah. 
fucking like doing his shit. We've got Andrew just, Tate. We've got like just all kinds of bad. Yeah. Have you guys seen EDP come back? I feel like it'd be a great way to end oh, this yeah. podcast. Uh, on. Have you guys it's, seen his it's, like? It's surreal. Have you seen his tweets? Dude. No. Um, he's is that Twitter. him or is that like his manager? Like it's it's fake, right? Like it can't be him. I mean, it's videos of him. Yeah, but he that could videos of himself that are only found there that aren't anywhere else. Oh, see, I don't know. Does that. he have? Riders like Andrew Tate does? Like, are there people that are like, nah, bro, he didn't do it. It's the Matrix. Bro, I, lo I love how Dan's like, him just straight up like, no, nah, dude, fucking... come on now. You know, you know, you, every boy's got, dude, he has riders. Come on now. True. <laughs> uh, dude, I've never met, I've never seen an EDP rider. That's all I'm saying. Like, I've. Yeah, bro, because you hang out with I adults, Dan, so... <laughs> okay, that's true. Bro, you gotta, you gotta go to the state of Florida. You'll find plenty of his riders. <laughs> really? <laughs> maybe Philly, right? He's an Eagles fan, so maybe... Maybe. No, but, uh... Oh my he's... god, dude. They, they, there is. Holy shit, I'm, like, reading some of his tweets right now. Share, share your screen. Use the thing to share with them. Let's see these EDP. He got ex uh, suspended, so I assume it is real. The tweeter. Oh, is this He's not a, like the EDP four four five account I on Twitter? Don't know. Well, like he's on TikTok, right? Like that's his official like place. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like he do, he goes on lives. Yeah. Well, it's insane. Like no matter what, he's he's uncancelled. He's still out there floating around. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think he's gonna? Do you guys think he's learned from this? Do you think he's gonna talk to minors, or do you think there might be another EDP situation that kicks in? Uh, what you say? Uh, do you think that? Do you think there might be another case of EDP getting caught in a stung a sting operation again? No, I think the I think the uh, the the vigilante type stuff has ruined all that. I feel like that's I don't know. It just seems like it's too. It would be too easy to prove that it was like for views and and clout and like I don't know. Mm -hmm. It just seems like too much of a joke now. It's not not illegal enough. It's very it's illegal and disgusting. But at the yeah. same time. At the same time, I feel like this is a worse punishment than actually going to jail. The social cancellation? Oh yeah, the social no. cancellation. Dude, he'd be so is... if he went to jail, he'd be social canceled too. No one in jail. Well, would yeah. no, no, no. I, I agree. He'd, he'd have he like he can't even he... like get a place to live. He's dying. He can't get a job. Like he's his, dying from he's diabetes. Got kidney Age failure. five kidney failure. Yeah. Oh, fuck. he says at least from the diabetes or. <laughs> He has to have diabetes, right? Bro, I, oh, for sure. Okay. Bro, you've seen what EDP looks like. Let's not pretend kidney failure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. yeah. get the diabetes <laughs> build. For I'm sure. sorry. That was, a, that, was a, that was a dumb question. I'm sorry. Yeah, bro. He's, he's, been, he's been putting all of his fucking, like, points into vitality, bro. You saw yeah. this. Oh, Come on. Oh, oh. Dude, he's like the one guy that has type 3 diabetes, dude. Like, that's how fat dude, he, he is. he developed a new form. Well, like, the thing, the thing, with, uh, the thing with EDP, it's like... He should have been to prison, but like vigilante justice obviously ruined that whole fucking prospect, mm -hmm. um, which is a damn shame, mm -hmm. easily. Um, but I kind of agree in a sense with Caleb. Like the social cancellation has caused him, where like even if he wanted to seek help, I don't even know how on the table that option is anymore. You know, it's yeah. like I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on yeah, with him. I, but at the end of the day. I don't even feel bad whatever happens his way, dude. Like, anybody that gets, like, yeah. remorse over this shit, I'm like, why? <laughs> like, why there's should no, anyone there's care? There's no... Fortunately, there's no, like, true... That we know of, at least, true child victim. Yeah, so, true. Mm -hmm. So, in my opinion, he, he shouldn't be using taxpayer dollars to rot in a jail cell and be fed and have free health care and things like that. I think he should just mm -hmm. rot and die from stage 5 kidney failure alone in his room. Like in the next couple of years, dude. I love this about Caleb. Like when you get him on the base train, dude. How how is anybody like? How do we how do we like even give Andrew Tate the Red Pill Award? Like, dude's out of here. Like, <laughs> Yo, that, like, like God, <laughs> rewind to like thirty minutes ago. He's like, bro, bro. Logan Paul thinks of other people like sheep. He's a sociopath. Also, Caleb. <laughs> he's stage four. I don't even yeah. know. I don't, I don't even disagree with you though. I don't disagree. Not as soon as you so. declare, as soon as you declare attraction for minors, you you lose your humanity to me. Well, more Dude, than how big of a schlemiel do you have to be? Declaring though, he what's he, a schlemiel? Hold on, that, yeah, a, it's way worse. It's a Jewish oh. word. <laughs> yeah. it's I like schlemiel. It's, it's an unlucky bozo. person. Okay. Yeah, basically, it's just a guy who's like like constantly tripping over himself and yeah. But like, how big of a schlemiel do you have to be to just? Like keep trying to go after girls, but never be able to actually do it because you keep getting caught over and over again. You know? 
Jesus oh Christ. God. I mean, he's, he, listen, at the end of the day, we can only be glad that EDP is a total failure in life and has failed even mm-hmm. this aspect. True. And honestly, what I'm saying. no matter what, all right, like he, uh, like, I think we all can end this podcast on the same note that if EDP died tomorrow of kidney failure, nobody on this show would shed a tear. Nobody would be no. like, no. boys, rip Bozo, we lost it. a good one, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Pack watch. I don't know, yeah. Caleb, I'd be careful. He's a protected class these days. Oh, that's oh, yeah. true. true. Fuck, true. We, don't gotta yeah. stay. we might have to remove our videos, boys. He's, he's, uh, <laughs> he's put on a pedestal. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Some Ordinary Podcast. Uh, you should check out Dantavius. You want to plug in your socials directly, your OnlyFans, your, you know. Yep, Dantavius on Twitter, Dantavius on MySpace. Dan Tavius on YouTube. Okay, shut the fuck up. You don't use MySpace. It's hard to tell with you. I mean, I still, it's still up. I haven't used it, but if someone wants to add me, that feel free. You can check you out know? Dan's Tumblr also, but he's been inactive since they banned. <laughs> That's, That's I mean, unironically. That was maybe the worst business Google... move in his internet history. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like daily, daily motion too, bro. Jesus Christ. What about Rumble? Okay. Are you on Rumble? No, not yet. I'm, I gotta get on there. I gotta get on True Social. <laughs> you gotta, I gotta get, get on. You gotta get banned off YouTube before you go to Rumble. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> Dan, you're gonna get so many retruths over there. <laughs> <laughs> or what's the other one? Parlor, dude. I gotta get dude, on. Dude, that. that five minutes that we have to cut out of this episode, just grab that file and upload that over to True Social. You'll fucking bang. Oh, yeah. That'll go You'll crazy. Be, that'll do numbers, bro. Yeah. That'll do some numbers. Dude. I like that. But you have to put it there with copyrighted music, so when people like take it out of context to cancel you, they can't get monetized. Mm. They can't post it on YouTube. Yeah, Truth yeah. Social can't make money, and they can't yeah. make money. Everyone loses but you, <laughs> dude. Ultimate troll. Anyways, uh, check out our co-hosts as well. You know, you've got uh, you've got the main host Oompaville. You've got the other main host Nux Taku, and you've got the shittiest channel on YouTube, Some Ordinary Gamers. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. And hopefully you had a great time today. We are out.